And you can do that just by praying and saying, God, forgive me of my sins. I accept you. I've been hearing you and I haven't been doing what you say, but I will do it now. I trust you as the Messiah, as the Son of God. And that's what Jesus was after. He was weeding them out. He said, the true disciples are the ones that hear me and respond to my words. And then some of you guys and girls, you're, 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 you're Christians. You're believers. But man, you, you've substituted God as the foundation. And you put in everything else. I'm going to build my whole life on this relationship. And then, boom! When that relationship's punted and it's broken and you get dumped, your whole life's upside down. You know what your foundation was? That relationship. See, did you hear about the storms that come in the two ways to live? See, they came for the wise man and they came for the foolish man. But guess what happened to, with the wise guy? The storms came, they hit, the life got hard. But guess what was going on? The house was still standing. So I say to you guys, get a good perspective Understand theology that suffering, hardship happens, but when your life is founded upon Christ, He walks with you the whole way through. So I ask you guys to do business with God in your hearts. Pray. Pray to receive Him for the first time tonight and go, man, I've been playing this game of cultural Christianity for way too long. I want to be known as a follower of Christ. I don't want to be the foolish person. Because the foolish person, his end, when the storms come, his whole life is wrecked. In this life to come, right now, and in the life to come. There is no life apart from Jesus Christ.